Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another review. This time is the Toy Fair exclusive Blade from Mezco Toys. Let's get started. Uh, first and foremost, special thanks to Mezco for this. I appreciate you guys. Just want to say thank you again. Um, and to all everybody I know there, I don't want to name names. But again, thank you so much. I do appreciate what you guys do. Um, but anyway, we're going to jump into this cool hot fire. So everyone is awaiting the normal Blade. And any indication that we get a Toy Fair one... It means that we are close to a normal production of the said figure, so it's pretty cool. It sucks that, yes, it was delayed, but it's cool that we get a look at what we are expecting here. And I kept the, the shades off for now because uh, we're going to get into that. But uh, anyway, we're going to jump to articulation first, as always, so let's get started. The head can look up, it can look down, it can tilt left and right, rotate all the way around. The neck is actually pretty nicely done because there's a little bit of articulation there. Um... Looking down is actually pretty good. There's a good range of motion in the neck area that doesn't uh, mess around or have a collar to get in the way, anything like that. I'm pretty sure with the jacket, it'll be a little... Uh, I'm not going to say it's getting away, but obviously, aesthetic-wise, with the jacket on, for the regular version, you know, you'll get what you get. As far as the arms go, they go up pretty far, like this. They can rotate really far up without an issue, rotate really far back. The arm has a bicep swivel as well, so it rotates. There is a double joint in the arm, so as you can see, he can rotate all the way up. And I don't know if you guys are noticing, but he does have his tattoos, which I think is a huge bonus that they added that on. It was something um, I was hoping that would be there, so it's really cool to see it there. And it actually is rounded off in the back. So you see with his neck all the way, uh, with his head turned all the way down, the tattoo shows in full, so that's pretty dope. There's tattoos on the arm, and uh, pretty sure if you take the shirt off, it's probably on the back. Who knows, right? So I'm going to leave him with his head down. As far as the ab crunch in the ab area, it rotates left and right. It has a ab crunch going forward, which is not a lot, but it is there. Actually, it goes a little far forward. A little further, I'm sorry. Excuse me. But it's pretty nice. As far as leg articulation goes, it goes pretty far out. So you can do high <laughs> jump kicks and things like that. I was about to say high jump kicks, but that's not true. You can go forward. You can't go backwards, obviously, because the butt cheek design is going to be in the way. The legs are double jointed, which comes in pretty far. You actually get a really good, nice uh, thigh rotation as well. And as you can see here, you can actually get down into certain poses. Obviously not in the best format, you know, but you still get a really decent pose out of this, which is pretty good. It's obviously not the best, but good. I think that the clothing hinders a lot of the articulation, especially because you don't, you want it to be able to give it range but you also want to make sure it looks really well on it. So obviously. <clears throat> but as you can see, he can do running poses. He can do kick poses. He can actually do rider kick poses, can he? Yeah, so he can do rider kick poses as well. And he can, like I said, not high jump kick, <laughs> but he can jump kick. So let's see if he can balance. Yep, and he can easily balance. One thing I also want to note and add that you can actually rotate the boot cut and there is a very generous ankle pivot. And this is something where in the beginning we actually had a, we, everyone complained about the ankle pivot, but now that I don't think that's an issue here on Blade. Blade is really articulated and articulated well to capture the character pretty well. The tech suit design of him carrying a holster for a weapon, holster for his uh, staves, and a holster for, uh, I don't want to call them shurikens, but I guess they are shurikens or shuri blades uh, I, I i don't know what to call them. <laughs> but i'm gonna call them blades uh shurikens or whatever but anyway i like this design i like the red i like the tactical gear look obviously he's missing his jacket but if you get the normal release you can put the jacket on the set one um now as far as accessories he actually comes with a lot of stuff a lot of stuff i was actually not expecting so it's pretty cool to see it all i put the staves in on the side because these are actually removable he comes with six so I put three here to see that you, you know, so you can see that you could actually hold them. But I also took one out so you can see it outside that it's actually pretty detailed even for a normal stave. I know the normal release actually comes with white or silver ones, I should say. These ones are red for tactical ones for to match his tactical gear. But we know he uses staves made of silver. So that's pretty cool. This actually gets you in a nice pose. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is his shades, because I want to put it on his face finally. I just feel like he's naked without it. And 
I will say this uh, about the head sculpt. It's pretty nice considering you couldn't get Wesley and you didn't know which one to do at Marvel. I think that this nice normal look is soft, but it is a great sculpt. And I think it does capture the Marvel look pretty well while also doing a, you know, a little tribute to Wesley. And if you put on his shades, you actually get a much better look of Blade, a much better feel actually for the Blade character. So I think this actually looks really like him. Looks a lot closer to the comic book counterpart, which is really, really dope. And I think that's cool. Now, as far as the shades, you actually get uh, a lot of them. They give you eight. So you'll get four black ones and you'll get four, which is going to talk about on the other. Actually, I'll show you the other scope as well. You'll actually get a black and red one as well. So you get black and red shades. You also get an alternate head scope, which is him with the fangs out, which I absolutely adore this uh, head scope. I think this one is really, really good. It captures the true essence of Blade. It's dope. And like I said, they all have the tattoo in the back of the head. So it's not like you'll be swapping it out and won't have the tattoo to match. It's there. You know what I mean? But you also get another two head sculpts, which I honestly did not expect. And this is of the bald look for him. Now, the bald look, I know a lot of people are going to say it looks crazy. But this is actually a look that he had in the comics. So this is actually really accurate with the tattoo to follow up around the head you know what I mean now this one you don't get the tattoo on the back of the neck you actually get, get the head tattoo which at some point he has had like he's done the bald tattoo look and then you actually get a fang look as well for the said bald sculpt so this is something I think is pretty cool that they've covered their bases they give you the two comic version heads the only one they didn't give you is obviously 70s fro look but as far as the modern look they've given you both looks with the hair like if it was drawn from David Marquez or the bald look during the Al Ewan Mighty Avengers run. So you actually get a nice uh, look at both ones. As far as accessories go, uh, we have a ton to cover in both hands of accessories. Now, real cool. I thought that what they did here on the back was really dope. Now, you can't see it, but you actually get a piece to hold his swords. And this is going to be his holster for the swords to be sheathed and housed in. And it's magnetic. Ooh. I don't know if you guys saw that but it's magnetic and it's a really strong magnet that gets it at a good distance and it holds pretty strong so if you move it around it's okay you get two blades one for each side these blades look really nice they're black and red and the swords look really dope i love these swords it actually looks <laughs> very close to the movie blades as well as the comic book blades because they try to stay close with that at least with blade they've always tried to stay close to that and these are a soft material for the holsters so they can hold the swords without worrying or breaking. What you're going to do is to hold them in the right spot, you're going to go right below this red part here. So you can capture them pretty well. And they'll hold up pretty well. Like I said, with the magnets there, they hold very, very strongly. They might get a little loose, obviously, because it's just held up by a magnet. But all in all, they hold. So I like this complete look for them. I, I really do. I think it's dope. It's a great colorway. I never thought that the black and red would work because Blade is normally just, well, obviously Movie Blade did it well with the black and red, but it holds up well in just a tactical gear shirt and the red staves in the colorway. does a really great job. You also get a pistol that kind of looks like it covers, I don't know what it is or what they did with Blade, but they just covered all the bases that made it look like it was all specially designed for Blade, which is really dope. So the magazine is back to being removable. And it's very difficult for me to take out, but yeah. So the magazine is back to be removable. You also get an extra magazine. You can actually pull this back as well. So when you show that your, your magazine is empty and you need to reload, so that's really cool. You get a machine gun that I do not know the name of. This magazine is also removable. You get an extra one as well. It's really nicely detailed. I really kind of wish you could push this back, but I think I'm being a little too extra with accent for that. So <laughs> that's cool. You get the normal muzzle effect, as you've seen with Punisher and a few other characters. And you also get a brand new muzzle effect. And this one can be seen or used if you are using a shotgun. This shotgun is really nice. It is a pump action shotgun, I believe, or a modified one of some shape and form, but it's really nice. <clears throat> and if you want, you just pop that right in for a nice muzzle effect. For a scatter shot, I believe. 
I believe this is a muzzle effect for the scatter shot. And on it, I have the dedicated use hand. But you can actually use a lot of Blade's hands for a lot of other things. Here we are with his shurikens that I wanted to talk about. Now, these actually fold up and can rotate out, which is really nice. You also can house them on the side of Blade right here on his sides, right on his belt. So that look really cool. You have one on the left and right. You can also house his handgun right here in his holster. So Blade can always come fully equipped to any party. You know, because killing vampires is his thing. He's the daywalker. Now, as far as hands go, you have dedicated use of hands for the swords. They're painted uh, red on the outside as if they were uh, tactical gloves. These can hold staves and the sword. So you can use those for each R. And they can hold the shurikens as well. We have a hand for holding the shotgun, which is the right hand. Oh, sorry, the left hand. I apologize. This is the left hand. The left hand is holding the shotgun for pump action. So you don't forget. As you can see, it looks good here. I already showed you the right hand dedicated for that. Then you have one hand that has two fingers out. This one I know that you can also use to hold the shurikens. They place really well inside. You have a martial arts hand for when you want to put fist to face. This is the one, that, the, the very same one molded wise that came with Punisher as a martial arts hand. You have a dedicated hand for staves, but it could also be used as a thumbs up. <clears throat> so when you want to stake a vampire, voila. You have a trigger hand for the right hand. This one is really done well. And you have one for the left, so you have matching one. So if you want to do a weld, you're in here for it. Then you have a karate chopping hand. Well, obviously a martial arts chopping hand. So if you want to break bread over, you know, a vampire's neck, it's totally possible. So that actually covers everything he comes with, which is honestly a lot. And I think it was dope. It was one of those cool things that I didn't know what to expect getting it. I was already excited because it was a blade, but I didn't know what to expect because it was like, what kind of one can you do that wasn't heavily armed? So you do a tactical gear version. So it's really cool. I love the head scopes. I love the amount of shades you get. I love the new muzzle effect. Uh, everything about it screams that the normal release actually is something to very much look for for those of you who cannot get the Toy Fair one. So if you were excited about Blade or you felt like you've lost the excitement for it, I hope you gain it back again with this because this is a really dope figure. Um, real quick, we're going to jump into size comparisons to see what he's like next to other stuff so you guys can get a glimpse. So we can see. First things first, I want to compare him to the Marvel Legends Kit Bash one that I got by swapping out some parts and using the old boy head. And as you can see, the Mezco one is a bit taller. Actually, you can't see it because of the angle. But the Mezco one is slightly taller. But uh, I'll see about swapping it so you guys can see swaps. But as you see, the skin tones are different, so they're not the same. But that's, you know, that's neither here nor there. Um, it's nice. If you like the Marvel Legends and you're not a Mezco guy, it's totally fine to still accept that and have it for what it is. If you are looking forward to the Mezco one, now you can see what you're kind of going up against. So there's that. Here he is next to a 1000 toy synthetic human. And because Blade is more in the mystical realm of stuff with vampires and things like that, I think it's safe to say he can go up against just about anything. It's also a great time to be a Blade fan because he's on the Avengers now. So that's also really dope. Here he is next to an SH Fig Arts. So you guys can see size wise. I think it's a dope time to be a Blade fan. With him on Jason Aaron's Avengers team, <laughs> you're going to see a lot more of him, especially with this whole War of the Vampire storyline going on. So if you're not reading his stuff, I advise you do. Here he is next to uh, Articulated Icons Ninja. Here he is. I'm definitely going to have him fight ninjas <laughs> in place of the fact that I don't have any vampires. Here he is next to another size Marvel Legend. For those of you who are heavy on Legends, so you can see a little bit of difference. Here he is next to a Mythic Legions vampire. This is probably the only one <laughs> that I own. So Mythic Legions are going to scale well for this guy. You can barely see his head there. <laughs> and here he is next to another Mezco. Just so you guys can see what he's like size-wise. With another Mezco in his scale range. So all in all, it's an enjoyable figure. It's really dope. So thank you again to Mezco Toys for that. I do appreciate you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed and you look forward to the normal release blade. 
In the meantime, guys, hope you've enjoyed. Hope you found it informative. And most of all, hope you do good, be good, drink your water. Later.